way. I don't think so. I swear, Dorian, I will run you over. <laughs> You're still not going to get to chuckles in time. You know, I would love to be a fly on the wall when Vicky plays that recording for him. What recording? You know the one I'm talking about. The one that Clint made of you getting him to swear to secrecy. The one that proves beyond a shadow of a doubt that you've been lying to Charlie all along. Vicky, um, you okay? I mean, I saw something on the, on the news about what happened at custody hearing and, but, um, come on in. Thank you. Well, fortunately, uh, the hearing uh, wasn't a total loss. The judge awarded temporary custody to Joey and to Aubrey. Well, good. I mean, that's that's something. I mean, they'll they'll take good care of him. And... But you're all right. Yes. Uh, can I get you a uh, um, water? Uh, no. Soda or... Thank you. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, they, they, they mentioned on the news that um, Nikki Smith made an appearance. Yeah, I'm fine now. Good. Because it must have been Nikki who came by earlier. She kind of attacked Echo. Nikki came to see Echo? Yeah. Yeah. And, of course, Echo didn't know it was Nikki. But... Oh, I wouldn't be too sure about that. How are you doing? Really want to know? I'm here. What do the doctors say? They say I'm dying. No. Now, this is your first heart attack. I'm doing bypass. Won't work. The attack lasted too long. There was too much damage. End stage heart failure. Bottom line, it's over. How much time they give you? And how is any of this your business? Everything you do is my business. Bottom line, you're not going to live happily ever after with Vicky's husband. Why? Because you struck out with him? Don't mess with me, Dorian. You're out of your league. You come at me, and I will be forced to tell your good friend Vicky how you blackmailed Clint to get that recording, how you were willing to let him die. He's alive, isn't he? No harm, no foul. The doctors won't give me a date, but they say I'd be ill-advised to plan a Memorial Day picnic. What about a transplant? With my blood type, I wouldn't move up the list in time. Aren't you going to say something? Like what? Like serves you right. Charlie, I am fairly certain that Echo knew she was dealing with Nikki Smith. Yeah, Echo wouldn't lie about something like that. Oh, yes, she would. Why? Because I think that Nikki must have showed her something, something she doesn't want you to know anything about. Oh, what are you talking about? This. Get out of my way, or I swear I will deck you, Dorian. Oh, please. Go to Chuckles. I have done my part. And I'm sure Vicky's already delivered the coup de grace. And what is that? I can't do this. What do you mean? You can't do what? Come on, Vicky, what is going on? All the way over here, I kept telling myself I was doing this for you, that you deserve to know the truth. But this is going to hurt you, Charlie, and I don't want to do that. Everyone makes mistakes, but... I don't wish you any more pain. I really don't. What, what's on that? Okay, this reveals who Echo really is. I tried to warn you so many times. And you chose not to listen. But you know what? It's not my job to protect you anymore. So you can listen to that or burn it or throw it away. It's up to you. Well, wait. Charlie and I are having an affair. You think I'm happy to hear my brother's dying? Maybe you'd prefer to see him doing a life sentence at Statesville. 
He deserved it. You're lucky I never got into a courtroom. Because the jury would have sent me home in time for dinner. Now I took the man upstairs to lower the boom. How's the family taking the news? You're the only one I've told. Well, Nora's gonna bust open the champagne. Because now nobody will ever know what happened in Eddie Ford's motel room. Matthew is safe. You and I don't see the world the same way. Everything that you've done paying Eddie Ford to kidnap Nora, I don't know how you live with yourself. Well, we won't have to worry about that much longer. It's not funny. He almost raped her. He could have killed her. And you've ruined Matthew's life, whether he comes forward or not. It's never going to be the same. You used him to take out Eddie Ford. If I had wanted Eddie dead, Matthew would have been the last person I would have called. But you set it up. Filled his head with all kinds of doubts about his parents. Taught him how to, to lie to us. Take the easy way out. And you told him that I cheated on his mother. Now, what was that, Clint? Was it revenge? I took Nora? So you're going to take Matthew? Take... Here. I'm going to get a doctor. Don't... We're not going to talk about this again. Why not? What difference will it make? Just get it off your chest. Well, what's the point? Eddie Ford is dead, and Matthew is guilty. Uh, and that's all that's ever mattered to you. It matters, Clint, right and wrong. Yes, it matters to me. It matters to anyone in this whole town, anyone in the world that's well, decent. I'm glad that you're going to be here to put the world right when I'm gone. You know what? When I found out you were in the hospital, I didn't even tell my family. Because what was I going to say? The man that ruined our life had a heart attack? Do you even have a heart? I didn't want to come here. All I want to do now is just focus on Nora and Matthew. Well, why did you come here? Because Nora said that I should. Because you were my brother. And what that means, I don't even know anymore. Do you? Clint, I want your side. Charlie. Charlie believes that you tricked both of us into thinking Rex was his son. And I wanted to stay that way. How could you do this to me? What about me? What about what you did to me? You, you can't listen to that, Charlie. This is your voice. I, I was tricked. I, I didn't know he was recording me. No, but you, you, you said it. You, you, you admitted that you knew that Rex wasn't my son. I, I, I can explain, Charlie. I can. Just please give me a chance. I'm going to have to get back to you. Bye-bye. Vicky, please, do tell me that you played the tape for Charlie before Echo got to him. Yes. Um, he heard it. Dorian, it gave me no pleasure to see him hurt. Oh, come on. After everything that man has done to you. I did quite enjoy the look on Echo's face. Oh, good. <laughs> there, you see, you are human. Ch Charlie, no. I swear to you, on my life, that I never meant to lie to you. When I first came to town, I was thrilled to see you. I'd never stopped loving you. You're the kindest, warmest man I have ever known. But you were with Vicky, and I wasn't going to do that again. I just wasn't. And then I went to Clint, and I, I told Clint about how we'd conceived a son all those years ago. But he knew. He already knew that Rex was his son. 
He didn't want him. I mean, can you believe that he didn't want his own son? He didn't even put out a hand to help Rex. He watched Rex struggle, and he wouldn't help him because he didn't want him. Clint Buchanan is the most vile, cruel, human being, manipulative man I have ever known, and I did not want him in our lives, Charlie. And then I went to Taya and Todd's wedding reception that night, and I was going to go to Rex, and I was going to tell him the, tr the truth, but Clint stopped me, and he threatened me. He said that Rex would be arrested for breaking and entering for corporate espionage, that, that Rex would go to prison if I breathed one word to him about Clint being his father. So what was I supposed to do? I, I didn't have a choice. I, I had to say that you were his father. And oh, God, please believe me. God help me, I wanted it to be true because you were the father I wanted him to have. The most wonderful, kind man. So you have to understand, Charlie, you have to understand that he's my son. And I would do anything for him, just like you. Because that's the kind of man you are. You'd do anything for your son, right? I don't have a son. Charlie, I'm so sorry. I should have told you a long time ago the truth. I should have, but I was scared. And you were so happy. And Rex was so happy and Shane was thrilled. I know, I know that it's not an excuse. I, I, I know that it's not, but I'll do anything. Charlie, please, I will. I'll do anything. I'll, I'll, I'll go to counseling. I'll, I'll work the, the ninth step. Whatever you want. Just please, please, please. Please forgive me. Please, Charlie. The trouble with you is you see the world in black and white. You're good, you're bad. When the truth is, people are a little bit of both. But in your world, if you're not perfect, out you go. Perfect? I'm not looking for perfect. Perfect is something you strive for if you're a good person, but you... Now, you're always headed the other way. Oh, who protected Matthew? Well, who set him up? Like I said, not perfect. Oh, fine. You win. Bo. No, you can't keep making the same mistakes, Clint, over and over, and then turn around and ask for forgiveness. I'm not asking for your forgiveness. Well, that's good, because maybe you've learned something. This is not what I wanted, Clint. You in a hospital, us going at each other's necks. I, I wanted a brother I could trust. One I could de depend on. I could say the same thing. You and I are different. Maybe we just ought to leave it at that. Goodbye, Clint. Bo, I need a favor. a head start, but you know the way Echo is when she's bound and determined. Yes, I can imagine. So you were there when she arrived? Yes, just barely. Uh, I left before the fireworks started. He's going to want to come back. He's going to realize what a fool he's been. I'm sorry, what? Charlie, he's going to want to come back to you. Surely you realize that. Please say you'll forgive me, Chuckles. Don't call me that. I know, I know. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You used me. Hmm? You used our past. What, what we ever meant to each other. You, you used me. No. The, the fact that I'd lost a son, that I'd lost my sanity to alcohol. Man, you were good. I mean, you, you just wormed your way right into my life. No, it wasn't like that. No, it was exactly like that. I came to you when I found out the truth. The night of the wedding that didn't happen. When I found out that Rex was not my son. That Shane, after I'd lost both of them, I came to you. I was broken and confused. And as low as I have ever been, and I came to you. But it was your 
fault. All along, I'm... You, you set me up. Jeez. How could I be so stupid? I mean, Vicky warned me, even Dorian, everybody, but I trusted you. Why? Because you convinced me that, what, you were a drunk? Just like me? That we understood each other? We did. No, <laughs> no, you read me up and down, but... I, Come on, I I don't understand the first damn thing about you. How can you lie like that to me, to Rex, to Shane? How do you have any idea what you've done? Rex and I, we forged a real relationship. Hmm? His son actually loved me. Now, I'm not claiming to be the world's best grandfather. You were a wonderful uh, grandfather. Okay, and then you took it away from him. Is it any wonder that that poor boy was up on a roof? Oh, okay. He's just a kid, Echo. I do. He almost killed himself. I'll make it up to you. No, but you can't fix that. It's broken. My marriage is broken. I left my wife for you. I destroyed my marriage to a beautiful, <laughs> kind, good, loving woman. For you, you're a lying, cheating, manipulative. Oh, no. I, no, you don't mean that. Either. But I mean every word of it. Come on, you destroyed me. You have taken everything away from me. My marriage, my son, my grandson. Oh, jeez. You even taken away any reason I might have had for staying sober. Oh, God, Charlie, don't... Oh, don't even that. pretend like you give a damn about that. You used my illness, my addiction, to just rope me in. When I think of all the meetings that you and I... Oh, do you even have a drinking problem? I mean, oh, sure, I know you have all kinds of ethical problems. You're morally bankrupt. No, 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 I, I was... Yeah, well, I was stupid. No, don't say that, Charlie. Don't say that. We love each other. Oh. I love you. You no. love me. That's... Yeah, that's not... Oh. Yeah. We're damaged. Charlie, we're, we're damaged. People, both of us were damaged, but... We've made mistakes. We've made all kinds of mistakes in our lives, but... You can't say that we don't love each other. I mean, I know things are bad right now, but if you just, if you just forgive me, I, I, that's I, I, never I, gonna happen. Cause this, whatever this is, okay, whatever you want to call it, this is over, okay? I, I never want to see you again. It's over for me. Don't say that. There's always another chance. No, not when you kill someone and don't pay for it. It's not your fault. You had just seen your dad with Nate's mom, and Eddie was trashing your mother. It was too much, so you snapped. Yeah, but then I didn't have the courage to tell my own parents, or anybody. I'm a coward. You're a kid. You were scared. Look, please don't make excuses for me, all right? I've already done that enough, and it's starting to make me feel pathetic. Do your parents know? He just found out. I mean, just the way my mom looks at me now. It's like she's broken. And my dad, he's the police commissioner. And my mom is the DA. Their lives revolve around the law. And their son's a murderer. You're not a murderer. You didn't want to kill anyone. Look, maybe Eddie wasn't threatening you, but you were provoked. Yeah, you should go to law school. You'd be a hell of a lawyer. Does anybody else know? Just my parents and you. So you had to live with this all by yourself? No wonder you were so shut down. Why didn't you tell me? I couldn't do that to you, Destiny. Matthew, we're friends. I'd do anything for you. Don't you trust me? You're the only person I trust. I won't tell anyone. I know. I'm just so sorry you had to go through this alone. But I'm here now, and I'll never leave you. You're asking me for a favor. 
It's not for me. It's it's for the family. They don't know that I'm dying, and I'd like like to keep it that way. Well, they'll notice when you don't leave the hospital. In time. But for right now, let's just keep it to ourselves. I mean, they got enough going on. They don't need to be coming over here and carrying on. Besides, there's nothing that they could do. And I've already caused them enough pain. So let's just keep this between ourselves. Huh? It's the first time I've heard you worry about somebody else in a long, long time. It's too bad it's too late. No, no, don't, don't, don't. We can get, we can get back. I don't want any part of okay? Johnny, you love me. I love you, please. I'm so sorry. Echo. I'm sorry. You were the biggest mistake I ever made. Santa! 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 Reconcile with Charlie? I haven't even thought about that. Oh, come on. No, really, I haven't. Dorian, I heard that tape and I got so angry. I really just wanted Charlie to know that Echo has been lying to him all along. And I, I don't know, I didn't think past that. It's obvious. He's going to want to come home with his tail between his legs. The question is, do you want him? I don't know. I love him. I mean, I married him. But you know, if he's willing to go turn to Echo and have an affair and lie to me about it... Well, there was obviously something very wrong in that marriage. There's something wrong in every marriage. Even mine. David is in L.A. and I'm here and... Oh, it's terrible. But it is so easily fixed. Charlie and me, I don't... I don't think it can be fixed. Vicky? So that's it? It's over? He's out of your life? <laughs> Only it were that easy. You do realize that we have a very big problem. We do? Oh, Echo. Yes, Echo. Mm. I'm afraid we have made a very dangerous enemy. Well, we won the first round. And if I were a betting woman, and I am, I'd be putting money on the two of us. Your fault, Dorian. And yours too, Victoria. And so help me. I'll make you pay. So you'll keep this between us? I'm not keeping secrets from my wife. No, no, I understand that. But don't tell the kids. Don't tell Vicky. They deserve to know, too. But I'll leave that to you. This is not what I wanted for you, Clint. To die all alone. That's what I deserve, right? Well, Bo, I guess you win after all. <laughs>